Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Tax pros can use the IRS Tax Pro account to simplify authorization requests. Wow, that's great. Honestly, convincing the IRS that this e-signature thing is actually a good tool, one that they might want to actually implement, has been like trying to convince Pete Buttigieg to visit that Ohio train disaster, you know? Like, it's not impossible, but it does take President Trump humiliating him before he'll actually do it. And in the case of the IRS, it takes every other business utilizing the technology of the e-signature before they're like, hey, maybe that might be useful over here, you know? And, and speaking of convincing, trying to get Dr. Fauci to stop potentially lying about that COVID theory that it came from a Chinese lab in like Wuhan is like trying to get Hunter Biden to stop lying about his crack habit. You know, it's a battle that you just might not win. Unless, like, you have a whole laptop full of evidence or something, or multiple laptops of it, or whatever. You know, you got a whole, like, I have a lot of stuff. Any case. But let's not forget that even the government is starting to admit that that COVID might have come from that lab in Wuhan, China. I mean, they got a low level of assurance on it, but they're actually saying, ha, huh, maybe. You know, maybe. You know, and if, and if the government can admit that, Maybe they'll eventually admit that what's coming out of Dr. Fauci's mouth is not, in fact, the distilled essence of science itself, but actually just a bunch of crap. And if that's the case, it would explain why he's so obsessed with masks, you know? He's just trying to keep the smell of his own BS from reaching his nose. You know, I, Dr. Fauci is like, well, the lab theory is not scientifically sound, you know? because it's culturally insensitive. I mean, the idea of Chinese scientists having a modern accident in a high-tech lab, the lab possibly funded by us, just paints the wrong image of the Chinese. My theory is much more palatable and sensitive, says Dr. Fauci. And it's just like, you know, some Chinese dude probably went to a wet market and traded like a half-eaten fish, you know, for a raw bat or something. At which point he probably just grabbed the raw bat out of the slimy goo it was in and proceeded to bite the bloated, pus-filled, COVID-infected head off. You know, like some kind of barbarian heathen. And because that's the more culturally sensitive theory, it must be the more scientific one, obviously. And it's like, uh, please put your mask back on, Dr. Fauci. You know, Dr. Fauci's like, look, look. I'm not willing to throw my theory in the trash just because of, quote, evidence, end quote. I mean, what is evidence compared to me? Science incarnate. It's like, come on, Dr. Fauci. We've all seen you throw. Uh, you're, you're not capable of throwing anything in the trash, for crying out loud. I mean, give me a break. But, it, but let, let's not dwell on that too much. Instead, let's focus on the fact that the fallout from the policies is going to be remembered historically as a lockdown catastrophe, not a pandemic crisis. It's like the government tried to fix a leaky faucet by blowing up the whole house. Sure, the leak is fixed, but now we're homeless. Oh, wait a second. L look at that pipe that's sticking out of the dirt over there. It's still leaking. IRS Tax Tip 2023-24, February 27, 2023. Tax Pro account lets tax professionals submit an authorization request to a taxpayer's IRS online account. There's a link to that here. Now, this can be a useful tool. As we know, the IRS has been trying to get people to do more of the e-filing of the actual tax return and use the direct deposits. But some other things have still been a little bit more difficult to implement this kind of e-signature type of technology, such as the power of attorney forms that are often used when you're trying to represent a client, for example, in some specific type of tax issue. So now they've got kind of an e-signature type of situation, which is th used through the accounts. That would mean, however, that I believe the client is going to need to have signed up to their IRS account, which historically many people haven't been logged into their IRS account because the IRS hasn't been utilizing their website capacities as efficiently as other kind of related or similar institutions like banks, for example. But obviously they're trying to do that so that uh, if that is the case, then it could be a little bit more simplified of, of a process to 
uh, do some of these other forms like a power of attorney and whatnot. So this includes both power of attorney and tax information authorization requests. The taxpayers can then review, approve, and sign the requests electronically. So it could be a useful tool. Using TaxPro account for authorizations to start an authorization in TaxPro account, tax professionals must enter their personal information and their client's personal information exactly as it appears on IRS tax records. So that's part of the verification process. Taxpayers can log into IRS online and then simply check a box as their signature and submit the authorization request to the IRS. The signed authorization will go directly to the IRS centralized authorization file database and won't require manual processing so once again the iris is trying to automate everything so that all that money that they spent from the inflation reduction act to hire all those new uh, employees and whatnot so they can just kick it all those new employees can just hang out because they're just going to make it all automated any case most requests immediately appear on the list of approved authorizations in the taxpayer's online account and the tax professional's tax pro account. Some authorizations may take up to 48 hours. Other things to know, the digital authorization process is available only to individual taxpayers currently, not to businesses or other entities. Tax professionals must be in good standing with the IRS and already have a centralized authorization file number before making requests through the TaxPro account. The centralized authorization file contains taxpayers and taxpayer representative records. This file lists tax mod, uh, modules and uh, the specific representative to whom the taxpayers have granted authority. So valid power of attorney tax information authorization forms include forms 2848, 8821, and 706. Later this year, the IRS will add new features to TaxPro account to make it even easier to use for both tax professionals and their clients. Currently, the digital authorization process feature is available only to taxpayers with addresses in the United States. More information at the links below. You got publication 5533A, how to submit authorizations using TaxPro account and online account. Publication 947, practice before the IRS and power of attorney, power of attorney and other authorizations. There's links to that stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.